Call of Duty MW3 is now out, and if you're getting a GPU driver error, much like this one over here, this was for Modern Warfare 2, but I got the same thing for Modern Warfare 3, just didn't screenshot it, how exactly do we go ahead and fix this? Well, it's incredibly simple. In that error message, you'll find a web page linked, and of course, in the description down below. This will take you straight to the Activision article talking about updating your video card drivers on PC. Scrolling down a little bit, you'll find AMD, Nvidia, and Intel drivers all linked over here, expanding the MW3 beta here, and of course MW3, they'll have the latest version you need to meet, or of course be above, in order to actually play the game. Currently there's only an NVIDIA and AMD driver requirement, for Intel you might not receive this error. Anyways, we'll click whichever one of these points to our graphics card, for example mine's an NVIDIA 3080 Ti, so I'll click this one. It'll take me straight to NVIDIA, where I can select my graphics card series, graphics card, operating system, and click search then download and download once more. This will download the latest version of our NVIDIA driver in order for us to download and install. Say you're on an AMD graphics card, open the AMD drivers section instead, then over here you can scroll down and select graphics, followed by whatever series you have, for example maybe, I don't know, 7000, 7900 XT. After selecting your product bit by bit, click submit and shortly after you'll be able to choose your OS and download and install the latest graphics drivers for it. Pretty simple. If you'd like it with adrenaline, make sure to download the second one here, it'll be a lot bigger. As for Intel drivers, click here, and this one's a little bit different, you'll click graphics, then things get very confusing. You'll want to know what you have, or at least be able to find it on the side here. So for example, Intel Arc, followed by A series, and we have a bunch of options here. Arc and Iris, Pro, Ubuntu, and RGB controller. Obviously we want whichever one says graphics and Windows, you can also choose the Pro version over here. Simple download it and install it. The Pro version, as far as I understand, should be a little bit more stable, especially if you're editing videos, etc., and usually lags a few versions behind the game-ready or latest version. Anyways, once you've downloaded and installed your latest graphics driver, all you need to do is fire up the game and you'll be able to play straight away. Otherwise, if you still receive the error, simply restart your system and try once more. If you're not sure what kind of graphics card you have, simply hold Start and press R, which is the Windows or Flag key on your keyboard, and press R at the same time. Then inside of here, type in DXDIAG, find it over here on the support page, then OK, and yes, then shortly after, you'll see on the display tab, after it collects some information, at the very top, you'll be able to see what kind of graphics card you have, as well as the manufacturer right below. Pretty simple. If you still get errors and things like that, this page may have more information in the future, but for now, it's just a simple update your drivers, try play the game again, or restart if necessary, and things will start working again. It's super simple. Do keep in mind that relying on Windows Update to update your graphics driver isn't always the best, and of course, you may end up with an older version, and not able to play the game, and do keep in mind, at some stage in the future, they will raise their requirements, and you'll probably see this error again. Just update, and you'll be good to go. Anyways, that's about it for this quick video. Hopefully you found it useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.